Hey everyone, this is the Clumsy Simmer and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. Today we are doing another speed build and we are in Willow Creek doing another base game only starter home. Um, this is a suburban style starter home. As you can see, I started off with building a garage, like a faux garage. <laughs> Obviously, you can't actually use it, but um, I like, you know, like I said before in my past few videos, I love doing realistic homes. So you'll see a lot from me that I do these faux garages. And I also like to keep them as a garage on the interior too. And you'll see that once I get into it, I actually make it into a bedroom. I kind of figured the Sims that lived here, um, it was a couple and they were newly married and then all of a sudden you know they became pregnant and they didn't necessarily have the funds to move out into a bigger home yet so they decided to revert the garage into a bedroom and then they were able to refurnish their old bedroom into their baby's bedroom so the second bedroom is actually furnished for an infant. I figured it could have been, you know, it's been a few months since they've had their baby, so it's no longer a newborn and it's now an infant. And I was sure to put a couple of skill building items in there for the infant. There's really not too many in the base game. Um, growing together definitely has a lot more options when it comes to infants, so if you're into the infant, um, game like the family gameplay then I would really recommend growing together it actually is a really good expansion pack for you know the way the newer expansion packs are kind of lacking in gameplay I think growing together is one of the better ones um, but anyways we are outside and we are doing the landscaping this is all debug landscaping I don't love doing debug landscaping but for starter homes it really does help because I love to make my builds as you know luscious and pretty as possible with the landscaping and without the debug doing starter homes the landscaping is really lacking so I usually do the debug the reason I don't care for the debug is because when you actually play the game and you have seasons I've noticed that the debug landscaping doesn't actually change in color, like the trees don't change in color, and um, the leaves don't fall onto the ground. I mean, that's kind of a nitpicky thing, I guess, but I love, you know, the whole point of seasons is to have the different seasons, right? And I feel like without fall, and the leaves falling and then like during winter the leaves are dying without that it kind of makes it unrealistic <laughs> like it'll be snowing outside and then you'll have a big luscious green tree it just doesn't really make any sense but in the start of games and you only have a limited amount of funds and you can't afford all of the trees and stuff to actually buy them then i guess it it's fine but um Anyways, I am inside and I'm getting the floor plan figured out. You're going to see me struggle a little bit. I mean, that is kind of, I've noticed that editing these videos that I've done in the past few days. And I really have a hard time figuring out the floor plans for some reason. It's just, I like to make it flow as good as possible. And I don't like it to not make any sense. Um... I know in my last Mediterranean style starter home, I had the bathroom off of the kitchen and that really isn't my favorite thing because I've never known a bathroom to be directly like you walk through the kitchen to get to the bathroom door and that's the only bathroom in the house. I mean, there obviously could be houses like that in real life, but I've never actually seen them like that. So um, yeah, it is getting figured out now. I kept the living room where I had it in the beginning and I decided to make use of the platform so there is kind of like a sunk down living room is what that is and then the kitchen is when you first enter walk into the dining room there's a sunk down living room and then there is a bathroom the infants room and then that garage that is uh, renovated into the parents bedroom 
And uh, yeah, I actually think it turned out pretty good for it being a starter home. And the fact that I had one Sam move in uh, before I did the screenshots and she had like 2,000 simoleons left over for some reason. I'm not sure how that happened. So I could have added a couple of extra things. But with that being said, if you start out with two Sims or even three Sims, then you start out with more simoleons. So your Sims will end up having more than 2,000 simoleons at the start of the game. So you can add your own decorations if you want to, if you end up downloading this off the gallery. Um, my gallery is always linked down below into the description for all of these speed builds and all of the create a sim videos that I do. So if you want to download my stuff off the gallery, then it is the clumsy simmer and there is no spaces in between that. So you just go to the gallery and type in the clumsy simmer, no spaces. And my, um, account should pop up. It may say wild hippie chick because that is a previous name that I had for some reason the gallery does not um, update the names as soon as they are changed I'm not sure if that's a bug at least that's how it used to be I'm not sure if it's still like that but uh, I just want to let you guys know just in case you try to find me on the gallery and you couldn't find the clumsy simmer but um yeah so I am just finishing up the kitchen we really didn't have very many decorations in the kitchen I wish I could have put more, but like I said, I was running out of money. And then in the entryway, I ended up putting this little table there. The wall was kind of blank and I did not know what to put there. So I was like, eh, I guess I can put like an end table there. It's kind of blocking the door, but it'll be fine. Your Sims can still walk in and out of it. It might clip a little bit, but that's about it. And then I made sure to add a little inside trash can and there is a trash can outside as well. Um, I ended up putting it like right next to the mailbox, kind of like, you know, you took your trash out and usually the trash cans, you know, go right next to the mailboxes right for the trash people to come pick up. I think that's kind of realistic. So sometimes you'll see me put the trash cans just out there by the mailbox, especially if I can't find a good place for them. Um, typically on the nicer houses, I try to put the mailbox or the trash cans in the backyard because I figured they're not going to have just their trash cans sitting out front all the time. And now I'm just finishing up the infant's room. I decided to go with a pink. It's kind of a colorful infant room. Um, I guess it could be gender neutral kind of besides the pink lamp that's in there. But like the rug has different colors like polka dots. And so you could change the color scheme really easily for whatever gender you wanted to use. And here I am with the garage bedroom combo. So you'll see I kept the garage door on the inside. You, If you don't like that, you could delete um, the, you could repaint the wallpaper and delete the columns. But I like the way, it's just more realistic, right? You won't have a garage on the outside without it actually being on the inside too. So I figured I, I would just keep that part and then painted the wall so it looks like they painted in there but they just couldn't afford to take the garage door all the way out and um, I believe we are done with the inside now and I'm just doing the back really quick the back doesn't turn out to be anything you know too extravagant I just put the this terrain paint down like the little pebble terrain paint to save on simoleons and then I also end up putting um, like a little picnic table, not a picnic table, but an umbrella table out there just for something out there. <laughs> I just wanted to put something. And then I put some little gardening pots too so your sims could have some sort of skill building item in this house. Um, that ended up being the only skill building item I think other than like the kitchen. But um, we are nearing the screenshot, so if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would help my channel out a lot. Um, and like I said, if you want to download this off the gallery, it is linked down below. And so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!